It is spring in Kyoto. And of course that means I have to go see cherry blossoms. So the other jets that are in Kansai, we're getting together this weekend to look at some cherry blossoms, take some really cool pictures, do some hanami. Our plan today is to go to Kyoto and then tomorrow we're gonna go to Nara. I'm really excited to see everybody again. I haven't seen them since Christmas and then some of them since November. So the reconnect is gonna be lit. I don't know exactly where we're going other than the general city, but Kyoto right now looks so beautiful. The white cherry blossoms have bloomed and the pink ones are just now starting to bloom. Hopefully there will be a time in this upcoming week where they're both blooming fully, but I got a tip that the white cherry blossoms might kind of die before the pink ones are in full bloom. But hopefully everything goes right. It's my first spring in Japan and so far so good. So hopefully we can keep up this good luck.
Day number two of Hanami. We have decided to come to Nara today. It's raining, but I don't think it should be a problem. And y'all see Chris coming up in the background. It's honestly something about light rain that is really calming in Japan. Like in America, I feel like it would be annoying, but here at shrines and temples, a light rain, I can vibe with it, you know? Wow. It took me a minute. I was like, why am I 
my screen back. I didn't put my back back on my phone. <laughs> Not the stab. Look at all those chickens. Also, spring and summer clothes shopping is completed at least as far as school and work clothes go. I can technically wear whatever I want to school, but I don't want to abuse my foreigner card. So I'm still dressing like a teacher, even though I have the opportunity not to. But it's okay because I like dressing like a teacher anyway. But that's pretty much all I had plan for today was just shopping. The plan tomorrow is to go to my favorite ramen shop that I found back in 2019 when I studied abroad. I've been here six months, some odd days, and just haven't gone to that ramen shop. I feel like ending the month strong by getting your favorite bowl of ramen is the only way to end the month, honestly.
I was just walking back from the ramen shop and I found a temple. So naturally I have to go in. One thing I absolutely love about living in Kyoto is the fact that it's like the perfect mixture of modern and traditional. Like right now I'm in the middle of the city. Mm, okay, Northeast city. And there are high rise buildings, high rise buildings. There are apartment buildings everywhere, convenience stores everywhere. But again, in the middle of all the madness, I'm walking through a temple right now. And I just think that that's one of the greatest things about living in Kyoto. Good morning, you beautiful people. I am on my way to meet with some friends right now. We're going to a temple. One that's actually really close to my apartment. I didn't know about it, but I still have to get on the train and meet them at the station. Um, don't know what's in store for the rest of the day. Don't have any plans other than meeting with my friends, so we'll see where the day takes us. How's your day yesterday, Emma? Yeah. Good. I went to the day show and then I hauled as much back as I physically could carry with my little T-Rex arm. I feel like I should have taken a pieces that Oh no. Also managed to spend oh, like no. 5,000 in oh, a day so far. I was like, how do I even do this? Oh <laughs> no. no. I did bring some. I guess they're like really jank. Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah, I only had to do it as well. Do you get to drive in? Oh yeah. See how fast you can go. Yeah, just press the button. That's it, done. No, it's okay. You can have it. Yeah, you can have it. Oh, dude. I'm leaving at the front.
So we have monthly meetings as Jets and Uji, and today we decided to go to Biodoin to see the Wisteria. So here's the adventure. Thank you. 